to welcome him back as we get into a Tuesday where we're keeping it cool, calm, and GB Collective. Like you said, this man, the talented musical producer and artist who's behind some of the biggest musical sensations in the South African music industry right now. I look at him as like a, a young David Foster right now in South Africa. The hitman soon to be. It's great to welcome you back. Hey, How are you, bro? Thank you, man. I'm good, man. I'm feeling a little bit underdressed next to you. No, I mean, no. You've got the suit and tie. No, I've don't got worry. a cheap... <laughs> A sheep around my neck. <laughs> this is our regular <laughs> swag. Don't worry about that. But, dude, it's been an exciting couple of months for, uh, for you, a couple of years as well, uh, coming up, because over the years you've been working a lot with big names in the music industry. I can, I can read them off a long, long list, but I'm not going to. But I want to know from you, who have been some of your favourite to work with? Sure, man. I think it's, it's been such a diverse bunch of artists that I've worked with, from Prime Circle to Bantu Soul to yeah. Lady Leah to Kabomo Notende, uh, Chad Simon. It's like... It's just been crazy. Is I look it a dream back come at true? It. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Look, I mean, it's it's taken a couple of years to get you. You know, it hasn't happened overnight. Um, but when I look back, it's literally like, wow! I actually, I did. I got to meet yeah. that person, you know, yeah. and work with them, which was so cool. What know? do you think is it that has made you so adaptable and has made these collaborations with all these different kind of uh, artists from all these different genres work so well? Sure. I think, I think, you know, for any producer, it's really being able to mold yourself around them as opposed to take up their space, uh -huh. you know. Um, I think a lot of guys, when they work together and collaborate, they try and put their own energy into, into the pot. Whereas when, whenever I work with an artist, it's really about what they want to do and mold it around them in terms of the sound, the production, yeah. when, to, when to give them the space that they need. So yeah. hopefully that's... But I think that over the years, uh, all of that working with other people and helping them enhance their craft, it's kind of, you know, it started biting at you a little bit. It's biting at, at the same time, bit, taking you know? a little exactly. snippet from you and there. So, and, yeah, so now you have it. your own album that's out, right? That's very, very exciting. Yeah, man. Uh, Collective Conscience is out now. And it's basically just a collection of, of the songs that I've done with a whole bunch of different artists. Yeah. Um, what I love about the project is that it doesn't focus on one specific style like like we were saying you know as gb collective having worked with a few artists from different styles i'm trying to bring the different artists together but also different music lovers yeah. together you know so when people come and see us perform live you'll have rock fans as well as soul fans as well as pop fans all coming together as i call the artists up like you would never imagine those people together at one concert but exactly. all of a sudden they're shoulder to shoulder and and that's the concept. That's like I said, dude, David Foster, hitman <laughs> right here in South Africa. Dude, it's great to have you here. Thank Stay you, tuned man. with us, though, because after the break, we will have the man himself, GB Collective, performing live right here in our Espresso Studios.